Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to the channel where you can learn how to play MLB The Show 22 to be able to crush your opponents. And in this episode, we are going to go over the players that I think will be upgraded at the end of the week, either Thursday or Friday. Sometimes, most of the time it's Thursday, but the roster updates are coming out and you want to jump on these guys early so that way you can flip them for some mad profit. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. So these are the batters that I think are going to be going up in value and overall, which means they're going to be worth more in the market. So try to grab them now. Try to get on the board before they go up and you lose out on some profit. And the first one we're going to go over is Jake Cronenworth playing very well over the last 14. He has 15 runs, one home run, 14 RBIs, zero stolen bases, but hitting a 415 average the only player to hit above 400 in the last like couple weeks. So uh, definitely go out and get him now. He's probably going to go over 80. He's going to be an 80 at least. So that's going to make it. You could already see that in the last couple days he's gone up already. So try to grab him now. 600 is kind of on the fringe. But you could also grab him for 600 and flip him for like 888 and make 200 profit. So it could be something that you could easily just make a couple hundred profit if you want to invest in him. And the next guy I'm telling you to go after is Luis Garcia. There is a ton of them, but this is the Washington Nationals second baseman. So go out and grab him. He's playing very, very well over the last 14 days. Nine runs scored, two home runs, five RBIs, hitting a 357 average. You can see kind of how up and down he is gone, but if you can grab him, which I think I was grabbing him for like 55 earlier, uh, if you could grab him, flip him for 222 or something, you're going to be getting like 150 profit. So if you do decide to get him, this will be a, a one where you go out and get like 200 of them or something or 100 of them and then flip him, you get about 10K back. And at a 72, I think he will go up to his 75 with this update. Next one I'm telling you to get is one I've told you to get in the past if you held on to him, if you got him for cheap. He did well because he's already skyrocketed up. I got still some out there ready to sell, so they're going to sell probably pretty quick after this update because I'm assuming he goes to about 77, 78. I don't think he hits gold, but in the last 14 days he's done well. 10 runs scored, 5 home runs, 12 RBIs, and hitting a 382 average in the last 14 days. So definitely a card that's going to get a bump. How far he goes, we won't know. And the next one is... A guy that we said last time, two weeks ago, that I said to go out and grab because he was playing well. Well, the next 14 days, he played even better, hitting nine runs, three home runs, 11 RBIs, two stolen bases, and a 375 average for Dansby Swanson. Uh, go get him because he is skyrocketing in price. If you got him when I told you to uh, two weeks ago around, let's say, the, the 10th, the 9th, the 8th, Look how much profit you would be making. I think at that point he was 200, 300 stubs a piece. And yeah, he's going for over a thousand now with the buy now. So you could probably end up flipping him for a thousand stubs a piece. So if you got him around 200, 300, you're making about 700, 800 stubs per flip profit. And then the last batter I'm telling you to go out and get is Michael. Harris, the center fielder for the Braves, been playing out of his mind the last 14 days. 10 runs scored, 3 home runs, 10 RBIs, 2 stolen bases, and him 364 average in the last 14. And guess what? He is cheap. He came out the 10th. He skyrocketed because he yeah, he was that was the first time him being out and you needed him to collect. Well, he's dropping down. And earlier today, I was buying him for, I think, like 188 or 185 or something. So he's gotten down a little bit. But even if you sell him for 333, which is uh, 300 stubs, uh, would be the flip there. And you would still gain 120 stubs off of this flip. His card is going to go silver. I'm assuming he goes all the way up. He might only go up to like a 72 or a 70, but he's definitely skyrocketing up. I don't see him staying at 66 
very long. So invest in him now because he might not be a flip that you do in the next week or two. I think it's like the Dansby Swanson card where if you buy low, wait a couple of weeks, wait for him to kind of go up. And when he hits silver, he's going to be going for 500, 600 stubs. And that's going to be a big profit going from 180 to 600. So my thing would be invest in him now. I think he'll just continue to go up from here. And now we flip over to the pitchers that I think you should be grabbing now because they're going to be going up in price and you want to make some mad profit. The first one we're going to go over is Camillo Duvall, and he is, has, in the last 14 days, 6.2 innings pitched. He has two wins, three saves, 10 strikeouts, has not given up a run, and a .45 whip. And he's their closer. He's doing very good, and I see him going up to it's right now it says that it's 79 so you could see what he does to jump to a 79 so i think he go definitely goes silver he goes up in the 75 i think he goes 77 78 and possibly even 80 and that would be a killer profit to get him at 130 and then flip him later for 5 6 700 uh, once he goes gold, you're looking at 800 ish around that area. So if you get him at 130, sell him for 888. You flip him for 800. That's 670 profit per card per flip. So make sure you grab this guy now because I think he's going higher and higher. And the next guy I'm telling you to go out and get is Tanner Hoke. Hauk, I don't know how they say it. But look at what they think he's going to be right now. If he has a five-star lineup there, he's looking at a plus six, which sends him from a 75 to an 81. So that means he might possibly go gold this week. I think that he's played well in the last 14 days. 4.2 innings pitch, one win, four saves, eight strikeouts, 1.93 ERA, and a 1.20 whip. He is Boston's, seems like he's Boston's closer now. So go out and get him while he's 60. 566 stubs and flip him when he goes up to 400 500 and then you're looking at about 300 to 400 uh, flip per one and I would do that because at 65 66 stubs right now you can buy a hundred of them flip them and be looking at 40 50 uh, K profit just off of flipping him and the next pitcher I'm telling you to go out and get is Spencer Strider for the Braves Braves have a bunch of people in this Playing very, 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 very well lately, the Braves have. And over the last 14, Strider has pitched 11 innings. He has two wins, 19 strikeouts, 1.59 ERA, and a 0.71 whip. And the biggest thing about that is the strikeouts there. He's pitched 11 innings, struck out 19 in the last 14 days. I think this card definitely goes up to a gold. And his price isn't too bad right now. You can grab him, flip him for like... 150 200 stubs a piece so if you want to invest in him go ahead and do so he's going up to gold and the next pitcher i'm telling you to go out and get is miles Mikolas. he got the upgrade last week or two weeks ago and i think he gets another one up to gold now definitely been deserving hopefully you invested him he's kind of expensive right now but you can still get a little bit of profit off of that if you want to flip him but he was very cheap a couple of weeks ago when he went up and i think he goes up this week to a gold the last 14 days he has 16.2 innings pitched he's got one win 15 strikeouts a 1.08 era and a 0 0.30 whip so very low whip he's been pitching very very well he's definitely going gold and then the last guy i'm telling you to go out and get is more of because it's a budget type of thing here with eli Morgan, over the last 14 days, 8.1 innings pitch, 2 wins, 10 strikeouts, 0 0.00 ERA, and a 0 0.60 whip. And the reason I'm telling you to go out and get him, he is currently 64 stubs. I believe I bought a ton of them at around 66. I think he's going to go up to silver. That's going to put him in about the 200 uh, stub range, 300 stub range. So you could be flipping this card. Um, after Thursday for about 150, 250 profit per flip. So make sure you go out and get a bunch of this guy because he's going silver after the update. So that's going to be it for me. I want to go over what my completed order are, orders are so that you can see I am buying these people as well. So go out and get these guys because I am investing in them 
Make sure you drop in there, invest in them, try to get the man profit, and then next week you will be thanking me when all the cells and stubs go through. You, I've done this for weeks now, and you can see that in here that I have people from even the last video that I'm selling. So make sure you jump on board now, like the Nick Pavetta card. I think I've gained 200 stubs from each of these cells. So look how many pages I have of there. The Alcatara one, I told you to go out and get. Look how many I sold there and so on and so on. And that's how I've basically been making all my stubs this year is from investing and then flipping. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also feel free to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any other MLB content coming out very soon. Until next time, Slacker out.